So let's review what we mean by 1, 2, and 1, 4 addition to a diene. Well, it all depends on where the addition of the reagent occurs. So suppose we have bromine addition. We would make a cyclic bromonium intermediate on one of the double bonds, leaving the other untouched. Well, the two position then would be defined as the location in which the bromine added. So we would start numbering on the side of the diene where the action is occurring. And if we had added the bromine to the other side, then we would have to number from the other direction. Okay, so we would change which side is the one two or the one four position. For this particular example, these are identical compounds. Okay, so there's no difference in one two uh, product for this compound. But if we had a non-symmetrical alkene like is shown below, we could have a couple of different two positions. So here's a cyclic bromonium. versus this compound. So these two have different two positions because the action occurs on different sides and we create two different possible intermediates. We're not making any comment on which one's more stable or more reactive at this point. We're just defining the one two and the one four position. And this has nothing to do with nomenclature with IUPAC nomenclature this is just so we can identify the reactive parts of the molecule so then if we go ahead and look at our first example a 1,2 product in a bromination reaction would have a BR minus nucleophile that was generated in the first step. We've looked at this mechanism before and we would do an anti-addition um, to form this product as a 1,2 product. And then the 1,4 product would actually add to the 4 position and we'll show this mechanism tax the carbon, double bond moves over, kicks off the bromine. So we get a long distance effect. Double bond moves, bromine goes to the four position, one, two, three, four, and then we have a bromine left over. And so we end up, if we number these, whereas the Initial addition that we numbered, we had one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and so this would be the one, four product. And the identity, one, two versus one, four, like we said, was determined from the location of the addition in the first step. Okay, where is the action occurring first? So what if we have a non-symmetrical alkene and we've got two possible additions? So each of these in step two have their own possible products and we have to look at all four possible products. So if we put a little dividing wall down the middle to keep them separate, we can see that the first intermediate has its own 1,2 product. And 1,4 product. Again, you're keeping track of your carbons, making sure everything is counted out the same. About a 1,2 versus a 1,4, and we can number those. Starting where the diene began in the original intermediate. 
same here. See how the bromine adds to the either the two or the four position. And then we look at the second possible intermediate from the first addition of bromine. Remember we added Br2 here and then Br- is adding here. We can add one, two. Anti-addition gives regioisomers, stereoisomers. We'd get RNS, okay, just like we did before with alkenes. But here we have the one, two product. And we also have the possible one four product and again the the positions one two one four are helping us determine where the reactivity is occurring even though we started from two different intermediates and the one carbon is different on the two intermediates um, we still have to look for one two versus one four in each possible scenario so we end up with four possible products and again we're making no comment on thermodynamic or kinetic at this point. We're just defining what we mean by 1, 2, and 1, 4.